Ladies and gentlemen, please make welcome Obon Thompson King. I'm not a government staff, so I'm going to be talking street language here. This program is titled The National Youth Entrepreneurship Empowerment Summit, aimed at developing the minds of young people. My plan, first of all, was to talk about making your business work, but I'll talk about plan B. Because plan B is maybe what you need to know. Because sometimes when you have to depend on government, the disappointment is too much. Now, hold on. Now, if the disappointment is too much, and you accept it, you cannot kill yourself and come and die. I am somebody that has been on that side of the, of the wall. At the age of seven, I was born in 1972, August 22, and I thank God for my father. By 13, when I was 13 years old, my father died at the age of 39. So my father did not even reach 40 years old. My father had five children from my mom. When we were going to bury my, mom, my father, we found out that my father had a second wife. And, and four children. So when we were burying him, they now moved us into a three bedroom flat. And then my mom was indoctrinating her children, including me, that we should ensure that we keep the house. We should not allow anything go to our step. My stepmom on the other side was also indoctrinating our own children. So every time we wake up, we wake up with anger against my own brother and sister. Up till now, some of my siblings, I don't see them eye to eye because of the depth of indoctrination. It got so bad that when you're climbing up the staircase into the house, you don't enter with your head first. You enter with your hand because they can be straight pots or straight plates or straight bottle. I tell people that Chinese film did not start in China. Chinese film started in my house because you must learn to dodge. At the age of 19, I was disowned. I became a security guard because security became my passion. Why did security become my passion? Because somebody killed my father. My father was killed by his own senior brother. I got so upset that I said, when I grow up, I wanted to kill the man. Unfortunately, when I grew up, the man had died, so I couldn't kill the man anymore. So that became my passion until I was called a failure. For 10 years of my life, I didn't see my family members because nobody wanted to see me. But the story changed. I came to tell every single person here, anybody that laughed at you, laughed too soon. Yeah. Hmm? How many of you would like to be very rich here, very successful, and have a name that will, that will, that will blow people's mind? That's why I came here. So everything that they have told you, please drop it at the side, drop your paper down, get ready for a radical mind shift. I want to tamper with your medulla oblongata. I want to touch your morbid, minchomic, mundane, moribund mindset. Stop thinking poor. Stop thinking that you need somebody's money to survive. You don't need any money from anybody. Entrepreneurship is you going to war. And I came here to look for lions. How many lions do we have in this house? Now, everything about business is market share. When you start a business, you are not starting a business because you like anybody's face. It's because you want to make money. True or false? So now, let us define what is business. Business, and I will stay with this um, story by um, Desmond Tutu. He said, when missionaries came to Africa, they had the Bible in their hand, and we had the land. So they said, let us pray. We closed our eyes. By the time we opened it, they are taking the land, and then we had the Bible. Today, we have on almost every street in Nigeria a church or a mosque. We are the most religious country in the whole world, but nothing to show for it. We have prayed too much as a citizen, but nothing to show. I am tired of that mentality. The definition of business, business is war. Treat it as such. When you understand that succeeding in business is war, that you need to plan and strategize how to deal with customers, how to deal with suppliers, employees, then you understand that this city, you are sitting here, you are actually in a training camp. I didn't come here to play with you, I came here to tamper with you. I came to stir up some fire inside you. When you go to the military camp, one of the things that is known about military is that they go through discipline. They teach them, they drill them day and night to be disciplined. 
And every military man you see has direction, has focus, has energy. They have endurance to survive the trail. For you to survive in business, you must be disciplined. Discipline doesn't come easy. It comes with a price. That is the price you must be ready to pay. Now, when you go through this discipline, a lot of things changes in your mind. Those exercises and those drills will build up confidence in you. And those confidence will change your belief system. When your belief system is tampered, confidence and strength will automatically grow in you. I dare say, anybody that is sitting here, a lot of us have heard about the lion, the Pantera Leo. It's the African lion. And this lion is the, one of the biggest and proudest animals. But if you go to the zoo right now, or to the bush, or to the, to the um, forest, and ask, let's have an award night and say that which animal is the tallest animal in the jungle? The lion will not win. Will it win? If you ask which animal is the biggest animal in the jungle, will the lion win? If you ask which animal is the fastest animal in the jungle, will it win? If they ask which animal is the wisest animal in the jungle, will it win? Now, if you are the one saying that no, the lion will not win being the tallest, the lion will not win being the fastest, the lion will not win being the strongest, then you don't have any excuse to say that you, have, you, are, you are the one at a disadvantage. The lion has only one thing, and that is the attitude of winning. A lion is not the strongest. A lion is not the biggest. A lion is the boldest. Like wise man said, I'm not afraid of an army of lions led by a sheep, but rather I'm afraid of an army of sheep led by a lion. I came to raise lions here. That's why I said anybody that laughed at you laughed too soon. Their mistake was to allow me to talk to you today because I want to stir something inside you. Say, I hear you. Uh, they laughed at you. They thought, okay, they had the laugh loud. They didn't know who I was. Now, in that situation, there were two things that changed my, my mindset. Number one was passion, and number two was profit. Passion is anything you can do, even if nobody pays you. A young man said that he wrote a book about 20. That is passion. You need to put some fire in the inside of you. If we check everybody here who came for this event, there is something you carry on the inside of you. That is passion. Something you can do, even if they pay you nothing. That is passion. Something that you can wake up at night at 2 a.m. and do, that is passion. But every time you have passion, you need to feed that passion. Passion is important. And let me tell you, someone like me, security was my passion. I will go to a joy leg by under the bridge. I will ask those people that are selling magazines, give me one magazine, 150 naira. I will read that magazine and I will go to CMS by the bus stop there, buy magazine 150. I did not need capital. I needed information. I kept eating that information day and night. Eating that information in the morning. I will mark those magazines. Go anywhere and buy magazines. Arrange with people who are selling those magazines and throwing them away. Please let me have back editions of those magazines. I ate those magazines in the morning. Ate those magazines in the afternoon, ate those magazines at night. Whatever you eat and you continually eat will eventually eat you up. Yes, will eat you up. It will eat you up. It will eat you up. Security ate me up back to back. Passion alone cannot solve it. And that is why I came because a, a lot of you here, you have passion but no motivation. What is motivation? Motivation is money. Motivation is results. Because after you have written the book, you need to see dividend of it. You cannot write a business plan and not see result out of it. It is very, very painful. Sometime almost like 12 years ago, I had the opportunity to leave the company I was working with. Remember, I was a security man. I have never applied for a job. I begged to apply for a job. My passion security moved me into different companies. I worked with Excel management. I work with Pahek Security, I work with Halogen Security, I work with Alarm Center day and night. I did not have a life. I killed myself to security. Ready to die for your passion, you cannot live to enjoy it. You cannot. I did that, and at a certain point, I resigned from a company called Excel Management. My HMO for my family had been cut off. I had a BMW car that used to drive me because the car would stop on the road at its own wheel. And I told everybody they were 
different spirits in that car. The, the, the bonnet was from another car. The windshield was from another car. The radiator was from another car. The exhaust was from another car. So today, the radiator will spoil on its own. Tomorrow, the exhaust will spoil on its own. This part will spoil on its own. So they had a mind of their own. Unfortunately for me, at that point in time, my landlord woke up and told me that they needed to increase the house rent or they wanted me out of the house because they were not sure I could pay. And unfortunately for me, at this same time, my wife lost a baby because I could not buy medicine. 6,000 naira. I lost a baby. Until you get angry with your present position, you will not stand up. Why you are sitting there? Because you are satisfied. The day you get angry. Because hunger is the gift of God to man. Until you are hungry, you will not find food. And I dare tell people that the problem we have is free food. Because a boy of 25, 26 or a girl of 27 is at home in the morning, they give her breakfast. Fried plantain, fried eggs, she eats with coleslaw, takes some juice and then sleep and then wake up by 11 o'clock. Watch Telemundo, watch Z World. Then by afternoon, she, by 2 o'clock, they're giving her pounded yam with four wraps of, 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 of condensed pounded yam. Give her with white soup and chicken. She will have to push the meat to touch the soup because it is loaded. There are shrimps inside she swallows or he swallows then sleeps. By 4 p.m. he's awake. He's watching Arsenal, he's watching Manu, he's watching Chelsea. He knows when La Liga is starting. He knows when Premier is ending. He knows when Rooney was born. He knows when Rooney's wife went to primary school. He knows everything about complete football, but does not know anything about his complete life. By 6 p.m., the sister has come back home and she's looking at him. Because she is doing keto, she does not take carbohydrate. And then she puts vegetable and meat. He eats that food. And when he eats that food, what happens? The guy looks at it and says, man, kolewek. He goes out to town. He goes to the joint. Takes two croaker fish. He will eat it. Takes two bottles of Odeku to step down. Yeah. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, one week, one month, two months, three months, one, month, one year, two years, three years, four years. After four years, he goes to church and says, Pastor, there's a witch in my family. Please pray for me. I came to explain to you who that witch is today. Your mother and father that gave you free food. When they give you free food, they stop you from thinking. When they stop you from thinking, they stop you from productivity. I started my own company from my bedroom. I didn't need an office to start a company. I had only a laptop. I had internet. And I had a desktop. My wife gave me approval to use the bedroom, a part, to start my company. But I put a target on myself. I started in security. And I tell people, because Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, the vice president of, of UAE, the, the emir of Dubai, I claim the man as my uncle. The man said in Africa, when a gazelle wakes up, it has to run faster than the fastest, animal, fastest lion, otherwise it will be eaten for lunch. He says in that same Africa, when a lion wakes up, it has to run faster than the fastest gazelle, otherwise it will not eat lunch. The moral of the story is whether you're a lion or a gazelle, when you wake up, start running. Start running. Start running. Start running. Start running. Tell your neighbor, run. run. Tell your neighbor, run. run. Tell your neighbor, run. run. We cannot continue at this pace. Every single person under the sound of my voice here, you are in one of these three markets because there are three core markets. That market is either health, wealth, or relationship. All your businesses are tied to any of these three parts. But you can't do business like this need to choose maybe which sub-market will you pay. So when you find a core market you're interested in, you need to move to the next level and decide what sub-market. A sub-market is like something like if it's in wealth, you have real estate and you have sales. If it is an investment, so those are wealth. Bankers will now come under investing. Real estate is under um, wealth. Then you now have the people in health. You have weight loss. You have people in nutrition. You have people in holistic a relationship. You even have a relationship, dating, parenting, marriage, all these ones are sub-markets of the initial one. But you can't say you want to go and start, because as of now, people who said real estate, but have you noticed that the real estate dynamics in the, in the country has changed? Because people have moved from core markets to niche markets, from niche market, I mean, um, to um, sub-markets, now they are playing in niche markets. Niche markets are the sub-area that you want to provide specific services. You choose the service you want to do. 
It is when you choose this service that you can now focus your attention and play there. When I wanted to do business, I said, okay, which area do I want to do? I don't want to be a jack of all trades. I want to specialize in something. I want to be an expert in something that I believe I can have control over. That is where my interest is. I don't want to do any single thing. Along the way of chasing in my business, I found out that there was a secret formula. If anything you go away, you, you, you don't take away, please, this secret formula, keep it with you. Are you ready for that formula? Watch this formula. This is the secret formula of success. Number one is who. Number two is where. Number three is bait. And number four is where you are taking them to. Result. Who are your market? Where can you find them? What bait can you put there to catch them? And where are you taking them to? If you know and understand this formula, you will never ask for money from anybody again. When we begin to ask, who are my target? Let me tell you, the question you ask yourself, who are your customers? You can't sell to everybody. Choose a market. I beg you. If you tell me that you're into fashion, who, do, who are your market? If you want to sell, you want to do to women, what kind of women do you want to sell to? Specialize in that field. A typical, and we call it a, a customer avatar. If I want to do business, these are the kind of people I look for. You must be in working class, in a, whether it's tier one or tier two company, telecoms or banking company, and you must be a business owner, young and upwardly mobile, focused, family oriented, married or single, living in an area with rent of 1.5 million and above, semi religious, and drives a car of minimum of 2012. Once you focus like that, your real estate deal can narrow. So you don't deal with poor people. Talking to poor people is a waste of executive time. When you discover this, you discover a change. Understanding this particular thing changed me for making less than one million in a year to over 150 million in three months. Because the, your, your target will decide your direction and your direction will decide your association. If I see People you talk to, I can tell you where you sleep in 24 years. In this picture you see here, this is how lions select. A lion, you see, does not eat all animals. There are lions that specialize in zebras. There are lions that specialize in monkeys. There are lions that specialize in deers. They are specialists, so they walk themselves. That is why you hear that lions are in tribes. In tribes. So this one is a zebra tribe. Inside the first picture there, you have those red lines. There's a lion watching the market. You don't start a business by saying they are bringing out a product. Buy for me, buy for me, buy for me. No, no, no. Study the market first. Know where they are going. Know when they wake up. Because the lion will wake up in the morning and watch. What time do they go to drink water? What time do they leave? How do they go? What is the big one? What is the small one? What do they do? Then they test them. Chase after them and see how they respond. The weak ones, they identify the weak ones before they now strike. You don't wake up on day one and say you want to go to business. You must be strategic in your approach. You must take your time and do your advanced work. Know where your market is going. Know what they want. Know how to get to them and then target them and take them out. When you do this, it will be like you are a magician. Look at this story here, and this is when it begins to get sweet. You can see that small girl th throwing that big man. Normally, by design, that girl shouldn't be beating that big man. But the things have changed. In judo, they call it the judo strategy. What is the judo strategy? That it is not the big that swallows the small, but the fast that swallows the slow. You need to change your speed. You need to change from being analog to digital. People are moving. Things are happening. Why would you be the one to carry last? And I know you are here because you are tired of that position. That's why you came here. People don't buy your product. They buy your stories. You need to make an emotional connection. Until they connect with your story, their money will not enter their pocket. Their hand will not enter their pocket. They need to connect with your story. Tell your story. Whether picture, audio, video, tell your story. 
Connect with them. Don't sell a product because it's a product. Tell the story behind them. Communicate with their emotion. They will drop their money for it. The secret of success is in the word attention. Forgive my typo. Money follows attention. You want money? Get attention. And I need to say this. It may hurt some of you here. I really do not appreciate the way we were heckling at them. As Africans and Nigerians, we respect our elders. Please. Whenever you see an elder, even if the elder is not making sense, begin to do that, you expose yourself for attack. The word for, for your money is called attention. The first law is get the attention. Stop trying to be the same person with other people. You are just a carbon copy. Be an original. When you get the attention, keep that attention. A lot of you know me, not because I came to your house. You saw me online. I caught your attention. I kept your attention. I put myself inside you because I wanted to enter into your spirit, your soul. I was tired of seeing you poor. I hear you. The ways to express yourself is through video, audio, and writing. Some of you are gifted in writing here. Please write. Some of you are gifted in audio here. Talk. And when you are saying talk, I expect you to carry your phones and then pick up your phones and do a podcast. Ten minutes and upload it. It will go on Shopify. It will go on um, Amazon. It will go on Google Play. It will go all over the world. Ten minutes. Download it on FM and then talk. Talk. Ten minutes and send it. It will go on a message for you. Do it every day. It will cause attention. If you can do video, carry on. This instead of doing selfie video, do a video. Ten minutes. This is my video. Post it on YouTube. There are people in this country that are making money on YouTube. $50,000 a, a year. They don't even know they're from their village houses. They're taking pictures, doing videos. 10 minutes. Do something with yourself. If your own is audio, do podcast. Anchor FM. Stitchers. If your own is video, you can do YouTube. You can do Facebook Live. Keep doing it every day. Keep the attention. You don't need to look for the market. The market will find you. Then multiply the attention. That same video that you did 10 minutes, get somebody to turn it into, uh, into an audio book. Get somebody to turn it into something else, into a short 20 pages look, um, what do you call it, the, um, e-book, and post it online. Multiply the attention, have it everywhere. Because the attention span of a normal man now is seven seconds. You need to catch them. Then if you want to set a bait, a bait is the law of the hook. Whenever you go to a suya man, what is the first thing he do? He will cut suya and give to you. You eat it. Can you leave the man after that? It's a hook. It's a hook. The man, will just, as you just come there and smile, he will just cut it and give it to you. You will carry your hand and cut it. He has hooked you. Even if you did not have a thousand naira, you say, okay, give me two hundred naira. It's a hook. You need to learn to hook people. And I'm talking of ethical hooks. Tell them you have secrets that can help them improve their businesses. A free report, let them give you their email or something. And they collect it. I'm sharing this because it's strategy. My first marketing tool was my Nokia 3310. God bless that phone. God bless it. I didn't need a marketer. I was sending bulk SMS. You don't need bulk SMS. You can use WhatsApp. Put your story on your WhatsApp. Put your gist on your WhatsApp. Tamper with them in the morning and in the evening. In the morning and the evening. Keep putting there. Because nobody will listen to you the first time, second time. A man takes a decision after seven times. Bug your friends. They know that you can do the project. But sometimes they forget and they give your money to somebody else. Remind them in the morning. Remind them in case they are forgotten. Remind them again. Send all your, all your friends your messages of the things you can do. Even if they block you, it's better. It's better they block you. You know the people you don't need. You don't need. In short, hit the list. Hit it. Put content that will make them block you. Then you remove those people because they are taking space. And anytime they post anything, your money data is going. So remove them as they block you. Delete them. I don't want anybody that will not add value to me. So I began to walk from my bedroom. I, I pushed it, honey. I pushed it, I pushed it. Anything that my friends told me to do for them, I would do. They would tell me, ah, King, help me, I want to go to the market. Can you follow me? I'll follow you. I didn't have anything to do, I'll follow you. Mumu, they pay. Stop coming to be a big man in nothing. 
I put a target on my wall, 100 million. Until you put a target, nothing will change in your life. Put yourself on a target that will tamper with you. And when I say target, a stretch target. Don't put one that you can achieve. Put one that will scare you, that when you sit, your heart will be beating. Every morning on my ceiling, 100 million. On my wall, 100 million. On my back, 100 million. When I enter the restroom, 100 million. Everywhere around me, 100 million. Once there is a will, there will always be a way. If I see your name in city people, if I see your name in, in any magazine, ovation, I will take your name, take your company and Google you. What can you do? What can I add to you? What value can I serve? It is at that point in time, I find out who you are, find out your company's email, then I can send an email to you. This is the services I can provide for you. I don't look at city people. My intelligence network was city people and Ovation magazine. Once your name and your picture appear there, you're in trouble with me. I will Google you. Study to show yourself. Study. Everybody that was sitting here, that was here yesterday, go and Google them. Go and find out who they are. What can you provide for them? Begin to communicate with them. Begin to find out who they, what they do, how they do. I came here because of you. I'm tired of seeing Nigerian youth poor. I'm tired. I started this company called G4S. G4S at that point in time were the biggest company in the world. They were turning over um, 7.4 billion pounds. Security company like my own. Turning over 7.4 billion pounds, equivalent of 2.59 trillion naira. Nigeria's budget at that time in 2011 was 4.44 trillion naira. How can a company, one company, be turning over 60% of Nigeria's budget? 60% of Nigeria's budget. Ah! I said, whatever this company is doing, I want to do the same thing. So the same services they were providing, I was providing. It became my first law of success, and that is copy until you become. When you see somebody doing something right, ask the person, listen to the person, copy the person and tweak it a little bit so you can become who they are. Person, when they ask questions, no, they miss road. Stop letting your pride eat you. Let me tell you a story. I went to New York for holiday. So I went to this Hurricane Sunday, where they had Hurricane Sunday, in a place called, um, uh, what do they call this place again? Oh, um, Long Island. And that place, they told me the history that the place was destroyed. But what did the people do? The boys now decided to clean that whole beach, four kilometers of boardwalk, and they made a beach. Beach, oh. And anybody that enters that beach, you pay $15. You have a tent, $15. There were like 5,000 people around there. So 3,000 people like paid to enter, $15. Then 2,000 people used tent. Because I was asking questions, the beach was too beautiful. And now I now ask, so 5,000 transactions were done in one day at $15 per day. That's on $5,000, equivalent of 27 million naira in one day. What are they going to do in the beach? Sand and water. Nobody's giving them juice. They cut out. Some of you here from Bayelsa. Some of you here from one other place, there's water. What are you doing with the water around you? If you can think enough, what you have is more than enough. I'm going to tamper with you. Tamper with you. I went to Rwanda. And they said, let us go and see the gorillas. I said, okay, let's go. We got to the forest to see gorilla. Now, they told me to see the gorilla. I need to walk one, kilo, one, one hour inside. They won't even carry me with car. I will trek to go and see gorilla. Then they said I should pay $1,500. Equivalent of 600,000 naira to see gorilla. My brother... Hey, quickly. Ah. I left. Put that gorilla here in Abuja. Somebody will carry matchet and cut it and do bush meat. Somebody is making 600,000 from gorilla. You, you will do bush meat. It's not a function of your location. It's a function of your thinkation. Let me leave you with some laws. The first law is the law of crabology. Crabology is the study of crabs. If you put a crab in a basket, come back after 10 minutes, one crab, it will come out. But if you want to keep that crab inside there, put other crabs inside. When one crab wants to go out, the other one will pull him down. That is called crabology. If you want to change your future, change your friends. Your friends determine your values. Your values determines your decisions. 
Your decisions determine your actions, and your actions determine your results. If your results are bad, check your actions. If your actions are not the best, check your decisions. If your decisions are not working, check your values. If your values are not the best, check your relationship. If you want to change your future, change your friends. Your friends do not include the people you talk to. They include your mother you listen to, your father you listen to, the magazine you do, the pages you go online to. Work. Those are your friends. The things that influence you are your friends. And I tell somebody that if, I, if you know this song, sing with me. When the bed do they enter body? See them, excited, correct. How many of you know Shaka, Shaka? You know them. How many of you have 100 million in your account? Hold on. You know why you, didn't, you, didn't, you, didn't, you don't know that? It's because there's no file of that money in your account, in your head. But you have the file of when the bed do they enter body? You have the file of shoko, shoko. You have the file of all the fight online in your head, but you don't have the file of how to make 100 million. If you are ready to change your future, change what you listen to. I won't spend time listening to news. Whether they like, let them do anything. I, list, I feed myself in the morning with inspiration at night, with inspiration. The first thing I do and the last thing I do, so that when I feed myself, it serves as a guard against anything that comes my way. Simple mathematics in secondary school, in primary school. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. I call it the law of compartmentalization. Four compartments. Anytime I talk to anybody and you tell me I like your shirt, I like your hair, I like the way you talk, I put you in addition compartment. If you tell me I don't like your hair, I don't like the way you talk, I put you in subtraction compartment. If by the time we talk with ginger and then you tell me money is coming, I put you quickly in multiplication if I give you my shirt, you tear it. Give you money, you don't return it. Give you my car, you spoil it. My brother, division compartment. Once I put you in division or subtraction, I have no business with you, even if you are my family. Success is not emotional. Every single person here has a gift. Every single one of you has a gift. I have never seen any mango tree that eats its own mangoes. Mango trees do not eat mangoes. Your gift is not for you to eat. Your gift is for people to eat. What you need to do is begin to sharpen and ripen your gift. Your gift may not even interest you, but it will interest another person. When you ripen your gift, people will pay you for your gift. You are looking for money. It's inside you. Sharpen what is inside you. Let it come out. And as you grow in anything, build structures. Don't be the MD, be the secretary, be the gate man, be this one. The area of your strength, concentrate there. Get somebody to deputize. Build that loyalty among them. I am strong today because I have good lieutenants. I'm not better than them. They are better than me in that their area. So I listen to them and I get better. When you can transfer the law, why do the work of 10 men? When you can give 10 men the work to do. Learn to shed the weight. In getting results, there are certain things you need to keep up with. And those are five key points. The first one is awareness. Awareness is that as you start your business, even now, those of you that have not started, throw your content out there. Let people hear what you're saying. Let them be aware first. People don't buy on the first day. Just throw it out there. After awareness, it becomes acceptance. People say, okay, this man is good. We like him or we like what your product. Acceptance comes in. So awareness is there. Acceptance is there. Then after acceptance, you go to marketing. You put a value on yourself that this is what I am worth. This is this, how much my product. If I touch your dress, you'll pay me 50000 now. But on the first time, don't be ready to charge too much. Sometimes give them a bit to come back again. When you do that, after you know your value, you can now sell to them. When you sell to them, they'll be telling people that becomes referral, and that's the last stage. Success is built on systems. This is a value ladder. Every time you see a rich man, he has a system. When you buy some, when you sell something to somebody, collect the money and go, you're a poor man. Because in value ladder, you must be able to lure the person into the next level. Lure the person into the next level. What product do you have? How can you upsell them? How can you upsell them to the next level? That is what you need to do. 
Like this one is a dentist. Now, a, every solution you provide for somebody always creates a new opportunity because a, a dentist can tell you, okay, come for teeth cleaning. When you go there and the man cleans, you say, ah, you need, to, you need to do some whitening of your teeth. Do you smoke? And you say, no, but because he has given you something free, you will quickly bring out money for teeth cleaning. And he will not tell you, ah, you need to do the braces. Maybe they need to do braces for you. How did he use hook to catch you? Catch your customers with hooks. Send the hooks every single day and things happen. When your structure is in place and you put these things together, everything begins to have products all over. You must not waste time. And at this point in time, I expect everybody to have heard something so that it can reveal to us who you really are. My name is Ubon King. And if you are not following me on Instagram, my Instagram handle is at Ubon King. And remember, I am just your boy. Have a fantastic day. Thank you.